welcome how are you oh i miss you all so much i really do i could cry <laughs> it's just so mad this summer like just oh it's, it's it i'm really enjoying it i'm having loads of fun and stuff but it's just really strange to be out of routine and i know you're all my soul fam so i know you're like me and we're all a bit nutty and it's kind of like when our routines are out it's like oh my god what's happening to me <laughs> oh dear but anyway, look, I'm here this morning and I what I've been trying to stick to is doing the weekend tarot readings. So at least like once a week, the re weekend readings are going up. I, I, I was hoping I was going to be able to jump on and do ad hoc stuff, but no, <laughs> spirit hasn't let me. Um, I've been doing quite a lot of readings for you all, like people that are booking in. So I've been really, thank, thank you for booking in because... Summer can be quite slow for us tarot readers, so oh, I've really appreciated that. Um, anyway, so I'm going to crack on because I'm going to be <laughs> rushing out soon. <laughs> going to go and get my lashes done and then take the kids swimming. Right, now, romance angels, okay, for our relationship message. We've got the Hidden Truth Oracle to see what's going on for your person, what they're thinking um we've got the brian froud oracle for your mental health because i thought i haven't checked in with that for a while and the angel i thought messages from angels would be quite nice for our spirit guide message something soothing you know we all need a bit of soothing don't we a bit of tlc okay so we'll do um a mental health card first with the brian froud oracle we're gonna do taurus first Okay, take things slowly, they're saying. <laughs> take things slowly, go easy on yourself. That's nice. Um, yeah, one step at a time, Taurus, okay? One step at a time. It's everything that's gonna, everything's gonna turn out all right. You just gotta take it one step at a time. Children, your love life is being affected by children. Could be actual children or it could be your own inner child stuff that you've been dealing with lately. You know, because sometimes our inner child blocks us from being ourselves, like being our true self, right? Because we're just stuck in childhood patterns. <laughs> I'm sure most of us in this cell family can relate to that. So take it slowly. You're breaking down childhood patterns. These are karmic patterns that you came into this lifetime with, okay? And they're very deep rooted because they're rooted in past lives. So that's why they're very hard to break down and understand and it all takes time. But gradually, gradually, you are unpicking things. You are starting to make more sense of yourself, you know, make more sense of your habits and start to understand what you need to stop doing because it's old it's from your childhood it's from your karma and it's not who you are so you're learning you've, you've been very careful you've been watching yourself you know you've been watching yourself a lot more closely and really being more careful about what where you put your attention you know and you've got the page of cups as well which is you know, you are starting to prioritise you, Taurus. You are starting to learn how to um, enjoy yourself and put yourself first and, um, you know, follow your joy. And that is what your life is all about at the moment. And this is very new for you. There is a strong, strong energy about children, childhood, inner child. This is all new for you, um, but it's very good news. Um, you're dealing here with an energy um, that is quite defensive. Um, they are very skillful. They have a very clear vision. Okay. So they're either defensive or these people are just very determined. They've, I'm telling you now, you, you deal with people who've been through a lot in their lives and so they've built up their skill base and they're very skilled at getting what they want and they're very skilled at doing things the way they want to do it. 
you know, but this is what you're now learning. This is what you're now learning. It's not about other people anymore. All right, there are people around you like this. It's just a mirror. Spirit's just showing you what you need to become now. This is how you need to become because you've been through a lot and you've got skills and now you can be much more focused on, on your vision and what you want, you know, and you can start being a bit more selfish. Okay, so that's the only reason these types of people have been in your life, to mirror that to you. Okay, I want to feel that way again. So somebody is thinking about you. Somebody knows that when they're with you, they feel good. Um, let's see your angel message. I've got guys outside wanting to do work. I've just said to them, please don't do any work till, for an hour. And they said they won't, so let's hope to God they don't. <laughs> right, you've got Chantel. New romance is imminent. <laughs> Either through, with a newcomer or through reignited passion in your existing relationship, be open to giving and receiving love. So you are, you are definitely, Taurus, going through a period of learning how to give yourself love. You know, page of cups. And, and you're giving yourself love. You're loving yourself like you, like you, sh you would have deserved to as a child. You know, and that takes focus because often we're in the habits of neglecting ourselves or suppressing parts of ourselves. But why should we? I feel for Taurus, it's all about just totally breaking free now. Don't suppress yourself anymore, okay? Right. Let's go into, um, oh, I haven't got my list. Oh, I have to use my bloody brain. Um, <laughs> oh dear, right. Taurus, Virgo. You've got the dark lady. Right, so you're going through a lot of changes at the moment and you're being quite mysterious, but you are being quite true to yourself and you are tuning into yourself a lot better. Yeah, you're tuning into yourself a lot better. You're being more honest with yourself, but you're keeping it quite private. People don't know what you're up to. <laughs> Unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. Well, <laughs> it may be for you that either an ex or a situation right now you, you sort of haven't been getting what you want out of a situation. And maybe it's not even to do with love. But it feels like you haven't really been getting what you wanted out of a situation, right? But I don't think it really matters from what I can tell so far, okay? Because it's like spirit has been trying to drive you deeper into yourself, yeah, you've had a lot of pain body that you've had to purge out this year. Well done. <laughs> okay, you've had a lot of pain body you've had to purge out this year. So it's been very testing because you, you, whatever situation it's been in your life, you haven't been getting what you wanted and it's made you release pain body, right? So it's karmic and spirit is trying has been trying to detox you by putting you in a situation where you haven't got what you would have liked and it's been really painful maybe it's been a series of things and but what they're saying is you've purged so much out you are now much more deep within your true self not so much just stuck in the mind all the time but actually really getting in touch with who you are and i tell you what no one's going to mess with you now because you've got the seven of wands, you know? No one's going to mess with you now. You are in such a better position and you may not completely fully appreciate it right now because you may still be thinking you don't still really have the end goal of what you would like. But I tell you, what you really, really wanted the whole time, the ultimate truth was yourself. And I, I tell you now, you are so now close to just literally embodying who you really are because I know I've got Virgo in my chart and we just go into our heads too, way too much and but big part of Virgo is being grounded in earth energy 
being grounded in who you really are. Now, I mean, I've got a best one of my best friends is Virgo and she is, but I know a lot of Virgos who aren't. And I'm one of them, probably if you're in the soul family, you're probably one of them. Um, but look, you, you, you know, spirit's been bringing you deep with the dark lady into yourself, right? And yes, it's been tough. Yes, it's been horrible. But now you can, you are so much better equipped to deal with things and no one can just manipulate you anymore. Um, okay, so it's been a long, hard road here. Um, now, you have got a friend who really cares about you. There is a bit of a delay uh, here with the lover's card and there's a bit of a mystery about this. Um, is this situation going to develop into love? What is this going to be? Um, there's also the nine of pentacles, a very singular energy. This person is single. This person is attractive. Um, it feels like spirit could be trying to bring you together with somebody. I am becoming a better person. Okay. And let's see what your angel message is. Layla, um, spend time alone in nature, meditating about your desires, your intentions. Ask the angels to help you gain a positive perspective. It's a beautiful energy in that card. And I don't know why, but I'm also feeling the same sort of energy from this card. Perhaps it's the purple. But the main thing is, um, spirit is getting you to tune in. That's what they're saying. Your spirit guides are saying, we're trying to get you to tune into you, Virgo, because um, then you're going to be to have so much more clarity on what you're doing. Um, so it feels like you've had disappointments, but that has been so that you could really find yourself and now you're sort of connecting with that, it feels like something is gonna sort of materialize. There's definitely somebody here trying to help you, it could be more than one person. And it's a bit of a mystery at the moment, but I feel like there's somebody who is very lovely who's being brought forth to you. Okay, so we'll go into Capricorn. Okay, so finding out information, Capricorn. <laughs> it's all about doing research at the moment and finding out information. It's very enlightening. It's very interesting. Could lead to a lot of self-acceptance and breakthroughs. It says release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. Um, it could be about releasing an ex. Um, but equally, it could be about just releasing the past, releasing the past where, you know, people didn't understand you or you didn't understand yourself, you know, but now you do. I feel like you're starting to get real answers here and real, you know, join the dots. And it's like a lot of things starting to make more sense. Um, so just don't get hung up on the past. That's what they're saying. Just allow this to be the present moment. Just cancel, clear, delete the past. Just be in the present moment. The main thing is that you are now getting serious, serious answers um, to a lot of your questions, you know, about yourself, about your life. Um, it's been a very healing time for you, okay? And it means that you won't ever get manipulated again or um, you won't put yourself in situations that compromise you anymore. Okay. Um, so, yeah, massive, massive for uh, Capricorn. You're coming into energy, which is so much better, <laughs> with the Sun card and the Queen of Wands. There's somebody here that can help you, okay? And they, they've got high consciousness. They've got a high level of consciousness. This is somebody that may be attracted to you or you may be attracted to them. Or it could even be somebody who is like a teacher or, I don't know, a health, health person, a therapist. I don't know. But there's definitely somebody here that is being brought forth to help you on your journey. Yeah. 
and it gives clarity. <laughs> this person gives clarity. Boom. Wow. Um, somebody does say, I wish things could be different. Okay. Somebody who's stuck, I guess. Yeah. Bit sad. But it doesn't matter. Don't put your energy on that, remember, because they're trying to get you to release the past. Okay, this is about you. Um, I am leading you towards the answer of your prayers. Please listen to follow the steps I'm communicating through your intuition, thoughts and dreams. Yeah, I do feel that, seriously. I feel seriously um, Capricorn is being led to find out information, okay? And um, to just totally release the past because it will just block you if you start thinking about any sort of past stuff and it's just about healing yourself right now and getting the answers and finally really understanding yourself on a deeper level um getting answers to your questions and accepting yourself and um finally things making sense in your head so that you can finally have fun and have a good time in your life and you know, not get got not get manipulated or not sort of um, allow life to overwhelm you anymore. You know, um, but there's definitely some answers coming, and it could even pertain to somebody else, but also you. Okay, let's go into um, Aquarius. It's quite funny doing the readings about my little list. Ah, fairies of the future very nice okay so they don't want you to look at the past just a little, little bit echoing capricorn message there um they don't want you to think about the past it's all about the future it's all about the future baby <laughs> why because the past is karma okay present moment is really where we want to be um but you know that pertains to future so retreat it's time to re uh, disconnect from the world so pulling yourself back out of the mind okay because a retreat is the, the 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 true retreat is to pull back from uh the matrix from the 3d reality from thoughts and just to have an empty mind. That's the true retreat. So that's what Spirit wants you to do at the moment. It will bring you peace. Um, yeah, there's been something where you got stuck, trapped, maybe going around in circles, huge obstacle in your head. Da, 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 da. Um, it's changing for you now, Aquarius, and you've got a lot more clarity. All right, certain things haven't been easy, certain things haven't gone your way quite frankly but you've got such clarity now such vision and you're not going to let anything get in your way you're not going to let anything get in your way and if people don't like it they just don't like it i just think you're just so focused now on yourself which is fantastic you know and not allowing these thoughts or the past to hold you back it's just be in the moment be me you know what's my vision what am i doing and um, there's somebody connected to you who's quite cold okay and they sort of have thought that they're the decision maker <laughs> they thought they're the one with the authority but now they're looking like a bit of a fool Okay, they're looking like a bit of a fool there. They're sort of realising maybe they're not as in control as what they thought. I'm starting to understand our connection. Yeah, well, they will be because it's a wake-up call for them because I see massive... Aquarius is going from being very stuck, yeah, to totally liberated on your path totally focused on your path and you're not letting anything hold you back anymore no, no more of this karmic stuff i feel like you were trapped in a karmic web for a very long time 
and it was hard to find your way out but i feel like you've found your way out of that karmic web and now you've got the clarity it's not going to happen to you anymore this person will have a wake-up call seeing how much you're changing the spirit guides are saying i am the angel of marriage and i'm assisting you right now <laughs> oh my god well you married to yourself yeah married to your purpose of why you're here in this incarnation not to stay stuck in your mind not to keep yourself trapped not to deny yourself pleasure and happiness you are here to realize your visions you know and follow your dreams follow your heart so your spirit guides i tell you they're they're if you're wondering how how the hell have i changed so much how the hell am i even doing this <laughs> it's because there's someone in spirit helping you right and it's mad okay right let's go into gemini okay gemini there's some nurturing going on here there's a nurturing energy around you and you sort of, you need nurturing and you may be learning how to nurture yourself better. Be more softer and gentle with yourself, which is nice. <laughs> and you've got ecstasis, which is um, a beautiful energy. It's ecstasy, happiness. I mean, so the key at the moment is, ah, oh, when I nurture myself, I sort of open my energy up <laughs> to heightened energy that's really quite magical and intense. Hmm. Something happening there then. Past life relationship. You have known each other before. Ooh. So this could be a family member, a friend or a lover. But that is confirmation that you have known each other before. So it could explain why there's certain understandings you have of each other or certain things are happening as they are happening because you saw, you know, you've probably done these things in a past life before. This is a really, whoa, it's like super intense. Um, you've got the world card. You've completed a karmic cycle. You've made a realisation of um, something you were doing and or something you didn't understand. And it's like, boom, very recently you finally understood it or you finally uh, s stopped doing that thing or it basically this is a spiritual upgrade and you have been spiritually upgraded very recently and it's to do with completing a karmic cycle so you were either um stuck uh in terms of um say for example keep repeating the same problem or keeping suppressing yourself something like that you know because uh, a karmic thing is usually where we keep repeating the same problem even though we know we shouldn't do it we keep doing it or we keep denying ourselves our needs you know or we keep suppressing something within ourselves that's what karma makes us do so you've re very recently realized i've got to stop doing that because it ain't doing me no good you know, and spirit's giving you a spiritual upgrade and you've got the high priestess. So you're quite private. You are quite private at this time, but you're also very, very spiritually aligned and you're accepting. There's some crazy shit going on right now, but you're accepting it because you just think, well, this is what spirit wants me to learn or this is what spirit wants me to do right now. So it's quite a magical time for you. And you're just flowing with it. You're just going with it. <laughs> it's like, blimey. Okay. 
<laughs> spirit, this is what spirit wants me to experience or this is what spirit wants me to be doing or this is what spirit wants to be happening right now it's a whole new beginning for gemini and uh, it's you just you, yeah you're flowing with it and it's guided by spirit it's not something that you decided to do in your brain this is something that was predestined and um basically uh you're connecting with somebody who is determined and who is moving forward more smoothly than they were previously you know they've had habits and things that they needed to drop um but they're very determined and they're moving forward much better now you don't know how hard it was to let you go so there is somebody that cares about you a lot and I feel like they're not really in the picture anymore, but they, their spirit wants you to know it wasn't, it was very hard. Okay. It was very hard. But anyway, that's just in the ether. That's just that's some kind of energy in the ether and a message that somebody wants you to know. Take action. You're in touch with your truth in this situation and you need to trust your gut and lovingly assert yourself. Boom. <laughs> there you go. So it is, it's all about your happiness now. All right, Gemini. So don't hold yourself back. It's about your happiness. It's about nurturing yourself. It's putting yourself in touch with a very magical energy, um, you know, and uh, this is a time of breakthroughs, really. So it is about you just not feeling guilty and just, you know, giving yourself permission to do whatever it is you need to do. That's what Spirit's saying. Okay, so we're going to uh, Libra. I need to hurry up. <laughs> Ooh, okay, right. Checking things, checking things out, wondering certain things okay there's details i feel there's details you have to attend to quite a lot of details at the moment might be irritating um they're wanting you to watch out as well you know just have your wits about you basically like you know I don't think you're going to let anyone pull the wool over your eyes or manipulate you anymore. Ha! <laughs> Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. So, yeah, I think that's it. I think something's clicked in Libra's head and it's like, because we're so sort of freaking loving, aren't we? <laughs> you know, we're far too, we're far too accepting. And um, it's like, you're like, hang on a minute. No. <laughs> I'm doing it again. Mm, no, don't be too accepting again. You know, do I really want this? Is it really that great? You know, I think you're, I think Libra in this soul family, we've come on leaps and bounds <laughs> and we've real, realised a hell of a lot of things. Yeah, because Knight of Wands, it's like we were being risky with our hearts risky with our decisions, totally unpredictable, not not honouring ourselves, <laughs> just unreliable to our own selves. But look at this, magician, you know, finally, finally, we've lifted our vibration higher. And it's like, now we can connect with what feels good, what feels conscious. You know, it doesn't mean, oh, God, you can't have fun anymore. But what it means is, um, you know, the magician, you, the magician has a high level of consciousness. He doesn't know all the answers, but he knows how to vibrationally align to the higher realms and hold his heart in a high place and do really what makes what makes him feel magical. You know, what he makes him feel great, and that's what Libra's doing. It's like, and any time something's not feeling great. You're just looking at it like, oh, okay, I'm actually not sure I'm going to flow with this. 
And that's really good discernment because Libra, we do find that hard sometimes. Oh, let's have a pick of your cards of your person. <laughs> it's funny. Spirit's wanting me to pick a card out of there. Hmm. Three, three. Ooh, interesting. Your person is at a time of pure potential. Um, They've sort of chosen their path and now it's time of like, no, it's not time of pure potential. It's a time of progress. Sorry, I'm just because I haven't got my book with me. It's a time of progress for your person. They've chosen the path and now it's time for action. Are they going to take the action? Um, They like to have fun. They have been focusing on their healing, um, but they do purge a lot still. Um, so <clears throat> it it's a fertile time. It's a time of progress. They know the path they've chosen. Um, hmm. I will wait for a sign from you. I was going to say, I feel like there's somebody that's sort of chosen you. Um, but it's still the beginning phases. I feel like indecision is lifting from your life, okay? So for some of you, that will be that you had someone that was very undecided about you and they're not so undecided anymore. <laughs> but, but I mean, that's not exactly great because it's still kind of a bit like, okay, you know, but... There is a feeling, definitely, of there's there's more decisiveness in your life. There's more clarity. And so you're going to see this in lots of different areas of your life right now. It's not just going to be this person or this or love. There's just more clarity. that Where things were very foggy and very confused, this is now a time where things are starting to align for Libra and starting to make more sense. It's a time of things starting to progress for you. You're more clear on what you're doing and you get more clear signs from other people, more feedback. So friendships, family, love, per your life purpose could all be progressing better now. Um, you are a spiritual teacher. You have the ability to counsel others and help them awaken their spiritual gifts and their divine life mission. <laughs> well, definitely. I mean, that, that is like what Libra can do, isn't it? Activate people, act, activate people's energy. So, and you've got the magician. So it's a great, it's a great transformation for Libra at the moment. And uh, you're standing in your power. I think your person is probably kind of a bit shocked uh, by you if you've got a person um, because you're really turning a corner now, Libra. So, um, watch this space is all I can say. And I think that's why you're, that's why the energy of the people around you is starting to step up because it's like, if we don't step up, you know, Libra could potentially move on. <laughs> that's what I'm getting. Okay, so we're going to um, Leo, the fawn, uh, very youthful energy here. So you could be feeling very excited and very sort of, uh, yeah, excited, youthful, revitalised at the moment. Something could be being rebirthed in you, healed made better honeymoon enjoy the bliss of holiday time together um you could be about to go travel oh my foot sorry i, I broke my foot a couple of weeks ago i haven't really mentioned that on the channel because i haven't been on the channel to mention it really but yeah it's not good um yeah honeymoon so this is about um reconnecting with yourself uh bliss is the bliss of self And uh, for some of you, it might be including a trip somewhere, but for some of you, it could just be a retreat into yourself, you know, and something is, something very good is happening for Leo.
um you have had a lot of worry and a lot of stress to deal with okay but you've got the tower card now so something is uh changing <laughs> something is massively massively changing and it's it's going to be such a good thing that it's changed because um oh i thought i saw gilbert there where is he oh no he's under the table <laughs> sorry <laughs> um it's going to be such a welcome change all right because um it's much needed and it's going to allow everything to be much more clear and much more truthful um you're dealing with an energy that's quite bitter here <laughs> this person's quite bitter they they uh, they feel like they've been betrayed in the past hard done by and they have these kind of abandonment wounds and they see themselves as an outsider. Okay. This person might have caused you a lot of stress, but I feel like that is all about to change. I really do. I think there's so much changing for Leo. I, I don't really feel like it's just one thing. I really do feel like this is multiple stuff. Um... Somebody says, I bury myself in work to forget you. Somebody tries to compartmentalise you because of their issues, but it's not really working. And I think this person is still thinking about you, but it's all going to change for you. You're not going to be thinking about them anymore in the same way. Because something in your energy is being renewed by spirit. Akashic, you are a spiritual teacher. You have the ability to counsel others and help them awaken their spiritual gifts and their divine life mission. You know, and you can't afford to have anyone hold you back because you are rising, Leo. You are here to keep rising. So this is very good news for you. Um, you are basically getting much more on track with your divine life mission. You are in the process of renewing yourself. You are in the process of coming home to yourself. And um, yeah, some of you might be having a, a, an enormous change quite soon, whereby it's not everyone, you know, it could be like you have a relationship finally end or you finally move house. Or you finally realise that you are free and liberated from a attachment that you were stuck in. Um, or you finally come home to yourself and realise certain things about your health. Or Do you see what I mean? It's, it's really big for Leo. Right, excuse me. I've got to go and get something for my feet. <laughs> my, um, I, I broke my toe on my birthday <laughs> I don't know if this is going to work actually I just need I feel like I need to put my foot up on something <laughs> Gilbert's in the way that is that's not great but it's a little bit better maybe it's not great <laughs> oh it's because I've not done many readings lately so oh that's better is that better <laughs> yeah I bashed my foot into something on my birthday it was so annoying I bought all these birthday shoes. I never buy shoes. Very rarely do I buy shoes. And I bought shoes, three pairs for my birthday. Well, it, roughly, like within the same month. And uh, I've not been able to wear any of them. So annoying. But never mind. <laughs> Spirit obviously doesn't want me to wear high heels at the moment. They're just platforms, like chunky platforms. But oh, I, I was so excited to wear them, but now I can't. Right, let's go into, um, I've got to hurry up, Aries. <laughs> Aries, Aries, Aries. Okay, she of the Kruak. Okay, they're opening you up at the moment. You are going to be receiving a hell of a lot. Okay? They want you to open up. You are going to receive. You are going to receive, finally, what you deserve. 
Codependency, addictions are affecting your romantic life. So, um, so you're going to receive some answers and some things to do with your codependencies that you had. And you may not have understood why you had these codependencies. You know, they may not have made very much sense to you at the time, or maybe they do make sense to you. But you're going to start now receiving divine guidance, information, and maybe even what you've really actually deserved all the time. You know, instead of getting addictive stuff or codependent stuff, you're actually going to get the real help or support or love that you actually did require, you know. Um, so you've got here the Nine of Cups and this is you finally finding yourself like your joy, putting yourself first, you know, and it's like a wish fulfillment. It's like something happening recently and it was like, oh, thank God that happened. <laughs> I really needed that to happen and I'm really grateful to spirit. Um, but, you know, it is recent that you've found more joy in yourself rather than relying on other people for your joy. And it's a massive breakthrough, you know, it is a real wish fulfilled. Um, now it's weird. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if I want to share this really. You've got the Knight of Wands, which is a bit of an unpredictable energy. So what's going on with you? Um, you know, it's it's a bit like you're. A, I don't know if you're a bit reactive because of the things that are going on for you at the moment. But you could find yourself um, taking off, departing, going somewhere <laughs> unpredictably. You know, or you could find yourself taking a risk. Um, now, you're connected to an energy, Queen of Pentacles and the Magician, which is a fantastic energy. It's an energy of abundance and magic and heightened consciousness. Um, this is somebody who's grounded, but they are also very spiritually connected. That is a very good energy to be manifesting. These are the, you know, these are the energies that are coming in for Aries. Yeah, you know, that's very good. Money, success, uh, and, um, well, infinite potential with the magician, having the magic touch. It's time for me to heal now. Hmm. somebody uh, needs to heal right somebody needs to heal and you're you're manifesting um you're making changes i feel with that knight of wands you're you're making changes and you're not scared to take a risk anymore you're not dependent anymore you're open you're not, you're, you're not frightened anymore, Aries. You're open to the universe and you're saying, do you know what? I'm not going to be scared anymore. I don't care. I have to do what's right for me. And I'll take whatever chances I need to take. I'll make whatever changes I need to make. And do you know what? You're going to hit the jackpot. Queen of Pentacles and the Magician. This is all good. You're heightening your energy field. Because you're not staying stuck in addictive or codependent attachments or situations anymore you are finally it's like a wish fulfillment you are finally at a place in your life where you can be open to the infinite potential of spirit and uh, spirit will be blessing you they are saying you know caution is warranted look deeper into the situation before proceeding further so yeah they're basically saying to you um, you know, double if you're getting into anything new, double check it. Double check the facts and the information first. Um, but also, they're giving you your your sixth sense back, your clarity back. So whereas there were, you know, like the ego is like a fog and it confuses us and obstructs us from clarity. And you may have been stuck in situations or attachments where you kind of sensed it wasn't right, but you couldn't see it clearly. But I feel like Aries had a massive breakthrough and you can now see clearly. And you are now the fulfiller of your own needs, you know, and you actually feel quite happy about that. Um, and it's like spirit is giving you that second sight so that you can 
view when people are trying to manipulate you or view when people are trying to take advantage of you and they can't do it anymore. <laughs> They're not going to be able to do it anymore. I feel like people are not going to have power over you anymore and you're actually manifesting an energy around you that is much more abundant, much more healthy and much more successful. So... It's very good news for Aries because you're breaking away. You're basically, what I'm saying to you in a nutshell, you're not going to be trapped in any kind of situation anymore. Boom. Spirit is setting you free. Okay, let's go into Sag. <laughs> so I never say that really. Sag is Aries. <laughs> okay, critical thoughts. Now this is a cheeky, a bit of a cheeky monkey, this one. Um, there might be some negative thoughts trying to infiltrate you at the moment. The ego is, you're going through a testing time and the ego is trying to infiltrate you and attack you because that's what the ego does. When it senses, the, the, what you've got to remember is you can't underestimate the ego. It is an entity, okay? It's, it's a karmic entity that we bring into, our, into this lifetime with us from our past lives. And it senses when we are vibrationally low or vulnerable and then our, that's when our karma steps in and ramps up. And that's when our mental health can go down, right? That's honestly what happens. And that's, that's what's going on with Sagittarius at the moment. So you could be having negative thoughts, paranoid thoughts, critical thoughts, those types of things. Um, trust. This situation is calling for you to have faith. Yeah, exactly. So the best thing you can do is shut the door on your karmic patterns uh, the, the mind patterns that go in your head shut the door on those right um i know it's easier said than done but i've been practicing it for three years and you can do it um and um because it's just karma and you're not here to be karma you're here to be spirit you're here to be the one love so keep tuning into that every time the mind is trying to take you down a dark road remind yourself okay that's my ego that's karma what am I here to do? I'm here to spiritually align. I'm here to be the true self, you know? And um, because that's what spirit's telling you to do. Why should you allow your ego the satisfaction of keeping you gripped in negativity and fear? Okay, so you are going to be proving to yourself that you can be your own source of joy and wish fulfillment so this is a massive uh, spiritual initiation that you are being put through at the moment and you're going to bloody smash it <laughs> you are going to bloody smash it you've got the star card right and you are going to align your energy away from that ego away from the negative karma right away from the 3d matrix that is trying to drag you down back into spirit yeah, align. And then from that alignment, that is source, you get the star card, right? And that's how you then realign everything in your life in the 3D, coming from that place, not from, <laughs> sorry, not from that place. You can see that little gremlin's in there. That's the ego. The ego is like a little gremlin. <laughs> that's your accumulated karma. Okay, block that out. You are source, you align to source, boom. Everything starts to realign in your life. So you're doing like a whole 180. It's a spiritual initiation. And it's gonna you're you're weirdly you're gonna end up on a better path than you were on before. And they just want you to trust. Um somebody is coming for you big time. And they may have been indecisive before, but they are not anymore. Look at that. Chariot, they're coming towards you. Seven of uh, Cups in reversed. They are now making a decision. They are making a choice. All right. You're manifesting it. Just keep your vibration high. The most amazing things can happen that you would never think possible. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, caution is warranted. Look deeper into this situation before proceeding further. So spirit is getting you to be a lot more clear on the types of situations you're opening yourself up to mentally, you know, and not allowing yourself to go down any sort of dark road. Um, 
not allowing you to proceed with any sort of situation that doesn't feel aligned. You know, you're keeping your alignment, you're staying in source. And it's like, yeah, maybe at the moment there's certain thoughts that you shouldn't go into or certain conversations out there that you shouldn't go into. Because what what's the point? you got to just stay aligned to source, right, Asaj? So I think you're cracking it already because the Nine of Cups to the star shows that you are going to crack it massively. And like I said, things are going to end up being better than they were before. So you're going for a special, spiritual initiation, a spiritual test at the moment, but you're going to come out on top, all right? Right, let's go into Scorpio. Ooh. Right, nurturing yourself, right? Nurturing yourself through this time is so important and it's so what spirit wants you to be doing and it's going to help you reap rewards if you do nurture yourself. You know, nurturing yourself is a high vibration. So it's a really effective way of aligning to source. You know, and when we align to source, that's when things start to go right. We're worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. So, you know, you are going to, um, you know, get everything you want at the divine time. And it, and it will be worth, all the effort you're going through now is going to be worth it in the long run. And it will all make sense. You know, that's what they're saying. It's just been a long, bloody hard road and it hasn't been very fair, but it's not nurturing to yourself to keep thinking about all the things that weren't very fair. That is not nurturing. That is not high vibrational. That's the ego wanting you to ruminate on the past and dredge it up so that because the ego wants to keep you stuck in a low vibration. So just try to ignore it and just keep realigning to nurturing yourself. That's what Spirit is saying in this reading. They're confirming that you've made the right decisions. Okay, so if you're in doubt, no need to doubt, baby. <laughs> you have made the right decisions. Um, Spirit has been working behind the scenes and that will become more evident very soon, if not right now. Ace of Swords, you're getting so much clarity and breakthrough at this time. You're finally getting information, communication, understanding, clarity, seeing clearly. Yeah. Massive breakthroughs for you. Massive, massive time of breakthroughs, which is leading to a much happier chapter in your life. Could you see the power of the way I was saying that? <laughs> I'm feeling it, baby. I've got Scorpio in my chart, so I understand. Right, now, the energy of people around you is very good. Um, you've got somebody here that may have been manipulated in the past, and so they're very defensive because of the fact that they were manip manipulated and pushed and stuff and taken advantage of. So they've had their back up, and they've been very, very defensive. Um but uh, here they get the star. This person's coming into a more positive alignment, a much more softer alignment, a much more spiritual alignment. So there could be somebody you know that is going to make a change. And it could well be because you are, I mean, I'm telling you now, Scorpio is going through a huge, huge shift. Um, but it could be a whole new person. It could be goodbye to the defensive person. <laughs> Hello to the star, somebody who's going to be the star of your life. I'm starting to understand our connection. Yeah, somebody will be starting to understand your connection because you're finally looking after yourself. You're finally putting yourself first. You're finally having the faith and working with spirit to do the most high vibrational things for you. <laughs> so... You know, and you're finally seeing things clearly. So yes, your person will be starting to understand your connection. Because <laughs> your connection is not the same as it was. <laughs> what do you desire right now? Visualise it and it will come about. Negativity will block your progress. Mm. That's right. So they do want you to nurture yourself. Like I said, don't drop into thoughts of the past, how you were wronged. 
how you were let down, how you weren't supported, da 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 because that is a low vibrational field and that is not nurturing to yourself. Spirit is making it very, very clear that that would actually block your progress. It would be an obstruction because in spirit, yeah, in consciousness, there's no thoughts. So we don't want any thoughts at all, really. We just want you just being as you are right now and nurturing and doing your joy, right? It's going to be worth it. So we're going to... I've got a brain block on me. Pisces. <laughs> that was a total brain block then. Right, something from the past being healed, but you don't need to go back to do it, okay? You don't need to go back to do it because it was in reverse. Okay, so something in the past I feel phew, is being healed right now. Done. Job done. Cancel, clear, delete. Okay, it's safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. They're starting to open Pisces up to love now. Okay, you finally completed a mission. A spiritual mission that you were on in this lifetime is finally complete. And you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. You've got the Hermit card. You've been searching. You've been walking through the dark with your lantern for quite some time. And you finally shed the light and you've made the realisations. And certain things are going to be very clear and healed at this time. And it is a ending of a karmic cycle that you were on. And it was a horrible cycle. But that is what karma does to us. We bring it in from past lives and that's why we get reincarnated. And that's why it is. it tends to be very horrible. But when you when you break through it, my God, you, you are blessed by the divine. Um, yeah, look at this. The energies you're pulling in are unbelievable. The justice card. Yeah. So people who also equally like you are breaking their karmic patterns. And look at this, Seven of Pentacles, somebody who is working hard for the long term. <laughs> so you are getting energies come forth to you, a person who is very determined. Um, and they are saying, I want to feel that way again. So somebody is thinking about you and knows that when they are with you, they feel good. Okay, your spirit guides. New psychic and spiritual experiences are changing the way that you view the world and yourself. Allow the spiritual gifts to open through study, prayer and meditation. Spirit's bringing them to you regardless. Look at that. It's coming down from the heavens. <laughs> Whether you believe in heaven or not, you, you know what I mean. It's coming back through from the cosmic universe. That is mental. Pisces, I'm telling you, there is something happening. There is something spiritually materialising for you. You are being spiritually upgraded. And um, it's infinite potential coming through for you right let's go into cancer cancer singer of transfiguration spirit is extremely close to you at this time and you can probably sense it you probably know it <laughs> right they're so super close it's unreal um they're saying it's safe for you to love they want you to open your heart up um there is safety all around you at this time where it may not have been safe for you in the past, it is now safe for you, finally. Attraction. You are attracting romantic love by enjoying your moment fully. <laughs> yeah, massive breakthroughs for cancer at the moment. I mean, we're such nurturers and lovers of other people, but that is all a message that we're here in this lifetime to do it for ourselves first and foremost. And when we do that, spirit comes closer and we attract love. It's a complete... It's a complete, I don't, I, don't, I don't want to say swear too badly, but it's a complete, well, illusion and confusion being a cancer because we're, we're born to think that we're here to nurture and love everyone. <laughs> but we can be quite hard. We can have a very hard shell and it's hard to get close to us, but we're very caring and loving at the same time. It's quite a strange concoction, isn't it? Um... But yeah, it's like you're finally understanding everything. You've been so confused. What the hell? You had no clue what to do. Um, it was a very difficult time for us the last few months. Well, probably last three years, really. But definitely the last few months has not been easy and it's been confusing. But finally, you're understanding. Ace of Cups in reversed. I've got to pour my cup into me. I can't keep pouring my cup into other people. 
I've got to pour my cup into me. It makes me more attractive. Spirit comes closer to me when I'm pouring my, my love into myself. Um, you know? Now, there's somebody connected to you that wants to send messages and they want progress with you, but they are very confused. They've got the Seven of Cups. So they're sort of a little bit behind you. They haven't quite got the clarity that you have now got. Um, you know, um, this person's very determined, though. It's like they don't give up on you. Um, OK, so watch out. <laughs> you might not be interested in that person anymore anyway, but you might be. It's just I'm just letting you know this is what spirit wants to tell you. Um, I wonder if you are happy without me. OK, so they do wonder what goes on in your head and what's going on for you. Um, what's your spirit guide supporting you with? I am the angel of peace. I bring you new tranquility and a smoother road ahead. Yeah. You see, when we give our love to ourselves, uh, we not only become more attractive, we not only get spirit come closer to us, but it also means that we start to get a smoother road ahead because we're aligning to spirit and our alignment is so much better going out into 3D reality. So Cancer, what can I say? It's a very, very good time. It's a time breakthrough for the Cancerians in this soul family. Get ready because somebody may want to get with you, <laughs> all right? Um, somebody may that you may not be interested in may want to get with you or somebody new may want to get with you. Um, but just stay on track with the fact that your joy and your love has to come first all of the time, okay? Because that's what aligns you to spirit. And it's not in a selfish, egotistical type of way that I'm talking. And I know you know what I mean. <laughs> so, um, yeah, it, it's confirmation that you have got a smoother road ahead now, as long as you stay aligned to this self-love, all right? So I'm sending you so much love and peace. If you want to book in, just contact me. Thanks for subscribing and thanks for giving the video a thumbs up. One love across Gaia, wherever you are on Gaia. <laughs>